seven days until Christmas. Good morning, everyone. We are taking it way back on the Cassie Paulson vlog squad and I'm using my phone to vlog today. My LCD screen is just very wiggly and it rattles every time I hold the camera. So I really don't want anything bad to happen to my camera. I feel like a screw is gonna be much easier to replace than the entire LCD screen if it rips off. The camera store opens in about an hour. I'm gonna walk down there relatively soon and hopefully we'll be back on track. I used to vlog on my phone, fun fact, when I was in high school. So the first maybe three years of vlogmas four years of vlogmas were on my iphone it took me so freaking long to fall asleep last night i turned my light off at 10 but my brain just kept going i could not fall asleep i could not get my brain to turn off stanford don't you dare he's gonna drop don't do it I could not get my brain to turn off, so I just turned my light on and read my book a little more. Didn't fall asleep until 12.30, maybe even one. And then I had my alarm set for seven o'clock to check in for my flight, but I woke up even before my alarm and then I never was able to fall back asleep. So I probably got five or six hours of sleep. I feel really tired, but hopefully that means it'll be easy to fall asleep tonight because tomorrow I think I have to wake up at Sampa! <laughs> Literally get out of there. I probably have to wake up around 3.30 or 4 tomorrow. So I definitely want to get good sleep tonight before my travel day. Also, this is our last New York City Vlogmas episode for the season. Got some Washington and Idaho vlogs coming up. Very exciting. Make sure to subscribe. My coffee. Oh, it smells so good. Usually I don't have drip coffee. It's a lot of caffeine. But I'm just going to sip on it. I think it's going to be okay. Cheers. We're on the walk to the camera store. Everybody cross your freaking fingers for him. Otherwise, I'm gonna be sad. Okay, the guy at B&H had a screw that was too big and a screw that was too small. But the screw that's too small did kind of fit in there, so he gave it to me and it's kind of like a temporary hold, but it's not gonna be a permanent fix. So he gave me somewhere else that I can go, but they're closed on Sundays, of course. As soon as I leave tomorrow, this screw is gonna do its thing. Once I'm at home, my dad and I can find somewhere to go in Portland that will hopefully be able to fix it. So yay, they didn't charge me anything. He was just like, here's a screw and he put it in for me. And now I'm walking to run one more quick, tiny gift errand that was luckily just two abs away from here. I have to pack later. I don't know, it's still pretty early. The world is my oyster, but honestly, it's so touristy right now and it's a Sunday that everywhere is kind of miserable <laughs> to be. I might just go home, but for right now I'm gonna run a quick errand. But I am feeling optimistic about my camera. The battery's at home charging, otherwise I would be vlogging on it. Okay, I desperately wish I could tell you about the errand I just ran because it was hilarious. But unfortunately, it was to get a gift for someone. I'm fairly certain they will watch this probably before Christmas. So unfortunately, I can't tell you, but it's for me to know. We are back. Shout out b &H photo guy. The screw actually is more sturdy than I thought it was going to be. In the meantime, we don't have to deal with the iPhone audio anymore. Honestly, the iPhone camera quality, it's not bad. It's not as good as this camera, but it's not bad. The audio is the thing that drives me insane when I'm editing it. I always have to adjust it, which you don't need to know, but it's annoying for me. So now I'm home. I've given Stanford a receipt to play with and I've truly got the whole day ahead of me. It's only 11 and this is when I have been waking up i need to pack i have decided to wake up at 3 45 tomorrow to get to the airport my flight leaves at seven why did i do this to myself because it was cheap that's why i mean it wasn't cheap but it was less expensive than the more normally timed flights as one can imagine during christmas week i edited the vlog last night so it's already uploaded not a day goes by where i don't want to throw stanford out the window my roommate's cat stanford is making himself public enemy number one day by day yes you no you know what get out of here you asshole he just ripped a hole in my thing over my window again i was sitting on my bed right by him and i just heard a of the plastic and i yelled stanford it's small enough that i can just packing tape it rather than taking it down and putting the whole thing back up a third time 
Oh, Stanford, you, 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 you. You really have it out for me, don't you? My plot against Stanford has now expanded to our table because now he keeps getting up by the tree and I think he's drinking the water. And I paid so much for that tree. If it dies because you're drinking all its water, I'm gonna riot Stanford. So now not only do we have tinfoil on the edges of all of our counters and the stove, but also around the table. It looks like we have festively wrapped everything, but actually it's to prevent demonic intrusion. Just had a snack and now I think I'm gonna paint my nails and then pack in a little bit. My nails are now painted and I had my little snack row. It's 2.30, I've just been reading my book. It's very good. It's called The Signature of All Things by Elizabeth Gilbert. It's been a really slow burn and it spans a long amount of time. I am maybe 55%, 60% through. It's really great so far. I don't even know how it's gonna end or what the story is going to be, but really great book, would definitely recommend it. I was just looking up TSA PreCheck because I was talking to Kai and she's flying to London tonight. She said she has it. I was looking into applying and I discovered that my Alaska Airlines credit card will reimburse me for the application fee. I always get to the airport way too early because I never know what security is gonna be like and all the airports in New York are different and especially when I'm traveling around the holidays, I just never know what it's gonna be like and I'm an anxious traveler. But I usually honestly end up sitting at the gate anywhere between an hour and 30 minutes. So I am very excited about the TSA pre-check prospect. I'm gonna pack so I can just chill for the rest of the day. I've been doing a lot of chilling lately, but you know what? I was very burnt out, so this is exactly what I've needed. And I have a healthy dose of getting things done and creating with the vlogs. I've been cleaning the apartment a lot, doing some reading, doing some show watching. I did some journaling earlier today. It's been nice. Looking forward to some time at home this week as well i really want to do some baking because i love to bake but i don't have baking supplies here my kitchen honestly is a little too tiny to get a bunch of baking supplies plus baking supplies is expensive that's a next apartment goal is to have room for baking supplies i've got a lot of goals for my next apartment really trying to manifest the most out of this one tsa pre-check here i come just kidding the article faked me out there are a lot of credit cards that do reimburse it but Frustratingly, the Alaska Airlines one is not one of them. But it's only 70 bucks, so it's too late to do it for this trip, but definitely looking into that before my next trip. Stan, you know what time it is? Time to pack. It's time to pack. It's packing time. Yes, I'm gonna pack. I'm gonna pack my suitcase. Your cat hair is on this, Stanford. I wonder why. I actually haven't thought at all about what I need to pack, so let me look up the weather. Thank you for clearing out. It's exactly where I wanted to sit. Vancouver is about 40 degrees. Where I'm going in Idaho, 16 degrees? <gasps> I don't know if I, uh, I don't know if I have spent a prolonged amount of time in a place that cold. I don't think New York really dropped below 20 last year, which 20 degrees is cold. Maybe it felt below 20 degrees with the wind chill. Holy hell, okay. On Thursday, we'll see 11 degrees, cool. Obviously, it's gonna be super snowy. I feel like I'm mostly just gonna be wearing my coat. I think I'm going to pack extremely minimally. 11 degrees is the high. Negative two degrees? Today's low was one degree. That's actually deranged. That is not okay. Wow, we are in for a winter vacation, Stanford. I mean, just me, not you. You're gonna be here. decided I'm going to embrace minimalism on this trip. I brought enough socks and underwear. I did bring two hats. I have my gloves. I brought one kind of Christmassy sweater and a green dress just in case. We do something fancy, but I don't think we will. It's not really my family's vibe. And I'm gonna wear that plush, lovely, luxurious Adidas sweat set 
on the plane. So I'll have that sweatshirt and sweatpants. And I have a sweatshirt and a, a pair of sweatpants and t-shirts already at my parents' house that I can bring to Idaho. So I think I'm just gonna live in sweats and sweatshirts. I did bring one pair of jeans for the week, which when it's 16 degrees, what else can you literally do? Well, that was easy. Oh, I need to bring, I need to bring some PJs too. But other than that, just my toiletries and my electronics. Because Vlogmas will still be going. I just spent an incredibly long amount of time making this adorable new channel art for myself. It was hard. This background photo is a film photo, but it wasn't the right dimensions for the cityscape to be in the right place. So I had to layer three versions of it on top of each other and then blur them together. I think I can make a little time-lapse video of me creating it. So I'll throw it over here, but it was hard. And then I had the inspiration to throw in this photo of me with my film camera. We've got vlogs nostalgia in New York City, new videos on Fridays. I'm very excited for a good 2023 kickoff of the channel after Vlogmas. Vlogmas is always this chaotic time where I honestly am just throwing together my videos and my thumbnails because I'm making one every day. It's a lot of content and also I need to like live my life. I can't spend five hours editing each video. As the new year comes, I'm super excited to mess with Final Cut Pro more and make some cool art. I had a lot of fun doing this little banner. Looks great. I'm about to make an end card for my videos. Probably gonna finish off that macaroni and cheese here soon. Don't forget to drink your water. Do you hear that? My oven sounds like it's about to explode. What is happening? It's not even on. What? Vibrating. Stanford, I don't know what's up either. Okay, well, hopefully I live to tell this tale. Okay, it stopped. I feel like it lasted way too long though. Stanford and I both looked up and <laughs> looked at each other. That was spooky as hell. It's 7.19 now. I think I'm gonna end the vlog here because I have it almost all the way edited. That way it can go up while I'm on the plane tomorrow. For the rest of the night, I'm literally just gonna take a shower. I think I'm gonna do a face mask and try and fall asleep early. I really wanna plow through my book. Now there's a dog. What's going on? Uh, I'm scared. I really want to plow through my book because it's super good, but I really want to be able to read it on the plane tomorrow. I have a couple other books downloaded too, but I do want to be able to have reading on the plane. So I'm saving the book. I've been catching up on other people's vlogmases. I've been watching Megan Hughes off and on, Hannah Elise, and Alexis Eldridge. I've been watching some of their videos, but honestly, it's been very sporadic. Thank you so much for watching this final New York vlogmas video. And I'll see you tomorrow for a nice travel day to the good old Pacific Northwest. Stanford, say your vlogmas goodbye. Anything to say to the people? He said no. F off. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you tomorrow. Okay, bye.